Hello everyone, Osint Africa. Today we're going to talk about URL scan. I mean, if you're already working in cybersecurity, you already know this amazing tool. If not, that's not a problem. Today we're gonna learn how to use this. I mean, URL scan is a tool that it's used to scan different websites. And, and, and it's really powerful because Beside only you know a scanning website, we can analyze different websites to get more information about. So, so the tool is really powerful, and the tool is composed in two parts: the community version and the pay version. But we are not using the pay version, so we are using the community version. So today we are going to talk about your scan, but only the community version. So it's easy to connect. You just take the link, you type euroscan.io, you get this dashboard. When you are on this dashboard, it's easy. Like you see, just browse, you see a lot of menu and a lot of information. First, don't get scared. Here we are going to teach you how you can analyze websites and different type of indicators, you know, that you know, based on, for example, you're working as threat intel, threat hunting, threat hunter, or SOC analyst, incident response, or security researcher, or even you are not in those fields, but you want to analyze somehow the website, how we can do it. So here we need, let's say, three menu, because we see many menu, but we need three of them. Home, we see home, search, and live. Let's talk a bit about live. Live are usually the website that are, you know, scanned by people from different locations and we can see them. If you click on, I mean, one, you, you see which website it is. You have a lot of information. Search, it's usually to make different type of search. We will talk about that later. Let's, let's back to home. When you click on home, you see recent scan, you know, you see the time and the URL that was scanned. You, you get a lot of information from where it was scanned and it's changing from time to time. And you have here URL, yes, URL, here usually it's to tap the name of the URL that you want to scan. Here, for example, you can click on this, you get more information about. But what you can also do, you can copy this URL, you go to search you click and it will scan it in real time and you can see how the website look and then you can also analyze it i mean it's a bit slow let's wait a bit okay now we see the website we get more information about the website but when you click i mean connect to the website you have home you have option here you have different visibility you want if you want people to view this uh, i mean website you are scanning you can click public you have also unlisted unlisted i think it's maybe the combination of the both i don't have big information about but the most important here will be the public and the private when you click on private if you scan something it will not be visible and people will not know I mean, it can be visible, but people will not know who scan it from where. That's why usually at work, for example, I use always private. That's really important because if you don't want the threat actor, for example, to know that you scan their website from your location, from your company, it's, you, it's good to use the private mode. And you are also country selection. Those are like some type of VPN. If you use auto, it will choose by default. If you want to appear somewhere, X, maybe somewhere, yes, you can choose it or any of those country. Usually I leave the default, but you can choose any country if you want. You, you can also use different type of user agent to maybe fake like it's Linux, Windows or a mobile phone or any other browser because sometimes maybe the website might be more visible with Android or different browser, it depends, yes. You have also custom agent or HTTP referrer. So, so th those settings are very important to know. Yes. Yeah, so let's back again to home. We, we, we again come back to this website. I just choose private and I click private scan. 
you see a lot of information. And here also look up, you have you know many 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 websites that can give you a lot of information if you want to risk and report go to if you want to connect to the website but now we will stay still in your scan what is really amazing here we have first you know the screenshot the way the website look actually you see this is this website actually we see the summary the contacted ip you know uh, 23 ips in four countries i will explain that to you later 18 domain this is the main ip of the website it's actually located in Ottawa, Canada, Cloudflare. This is the main domain. And the certificate provider. This is a certificate valid uh, for three months. Yes, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, live information. We have a couple of information, the ASN. We have also <clears throat> The domain and the IP information, all the IP that were contacted by the website before the website appears. Yes, you will understand that. We will come to that also. We see all those IP. We, we have <coughs> the information about those IP where they are hosted. If you click on a, a, a lookup, if you want to go to security trails to get some information about the IP or the domain, various total, with IPDB, census, showdown to get some information about the IP, what is there, it's easy. You can click and go to, 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 to that, I mean, uh, 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 application. But we are staying in your scan, yes? And the same for the domain. If you want to get more information about the domain, the certificate about uh, information related to the domain, you want to go to census or domain tools, you click, you will get more information about the, this domain. Shop app. Probably the web, this website is using this shop app for some reason. Yes, the VPS and C CDN content delivery network. So the website has a content on that VPS from OVH. Yes, located in Canada. Google APIs. So the website is using Google APIs for some reason, maybe storing something there. Yes, have the domain. Yes. Here you get some information, the transfer, here the file, you know, that it's transferred. So you can see this file is big, maybe it contains some information. You, you, you don't know actually, but we will go to that, you will understand soon. So we see those, you know, files that are, you know, uh, from those, you know, a, a third party, 4K, 22, some are small, some are big, it depends. Domain tree, you have the information about all the domain contacted by the websites. Yes, so you have a lot of okay. The links we don't see links, the certificate information from those websites. You can click on this to go and get more information. That's the main website, other website contacted by this, and sometimes it can be malware, malicious website. You never know if, for example, we know Google is benign. Facebook, but could be other website. If this website was a phishing, for example, you can check it and analyze it further. Yes, F frame. The website is using framing, and 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 the framing when you click it will redirect to somewhere. Maybe the website has some vulnerability, or, or or it can be also phishing website. Yes, they have the framing there. Right? You click it will redirect you to the bad website. Yes, or the website was compromised. That can be possible, but for I'm just explaining to you how you analyze the website. Yes, so so when you come here, you have different technologies used by the website. Apple Pay, we, that's why we saw somewhere it was written Apple Shop App, I think. Facebook, Flickity, you know, you can expand those and get more information. Detective pattern, you know. You, you, you can expand them and get more information. Yes, we, we have all the information about the website, the statistic of, of the website. So the summary is showing a lot of information. That's amazing. Yes. And HTTP. HTTP is amazing. We have a lot of information. The 120 HTTP transaction, we see all the transactions we were analyzing in the, in the summary. Let, let, let's, let's expand those. Yes, we have this, you know, primary request 
and 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 get request was sent somewhere yes and we have the information we can click on show headers we see when the request was sent you know user agent mozilla and the re response from the website we can see you know okay cloudflare and some information from the website that can also help you to analyze some information from the website you know so it depends on you know the, the case or situation yes we can see that the website if it's protected or not yes this website is protected you know so we, we see many things here x frame deny you know and a content security policy block and we, we see that the, the website is protected somehow and usually if it's a bad website they don't have more protection like this it depends of course but usually they don't have it yes so we now start to see more information we can download we can go there yes we can even from this website click on archive.org to see how the website was before or how this domain looked like before yes if the domain keep changing maybe it show it something it depends on the, the situation of course we will not do it today we just stay in the error scan again so we have the show response we can click on show response to see what is there if it's a phishing it contains some script some bad script or whatever you want you can come here and analyze you can control f password you know to see maybe they, 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 they send in the password somewhere post for HTTP post, maybe the posting some some information somewhere. You, you can check a lot of things, you know. Here, just take your time and and check it. You know, if if it's a malware, if uh, this script is a malware, you can see the content and analyze it. That's why I love this tool because this is real time. Yes, so you can see a lot of things. This is the post, so it's sending something somewhere what is sender post why post okay here unfortunately we don't see what is there but we see this is what is said produce batch so they send in something some information to the shopify yes we have the hash we can check the hash we, we starting to have more information about this website and we see they get they get get we see some kind of script unfortunately we cannot see what is inside of the script failed some requests were failed for some reason yes if i take this i want to see which request was it okay okay those requests failed from okay the website somehow you know it's failed i don't know what was the reason yes